In this training video, we're going to look at conditional formatting formulas using standard formula calculations. So for cell C16, I want to compare it against B16 to see whether it's greater than or less than that particular cell. If it's greater than, I want to color C16 green. If it's less than, I want to color it red. So in effect, this should go green. Then when I've got the format in, I can just use the format painter then to copy it to all the other totals from March to December and apply it. So each of the totals then is compared to the previous total to see where that's going to put down. So you can really see your trends in total sort of year. So that's what this is going to do. It's going to look at trends, whether the whether date is going up and down against red or green. So I'm going to use conditional formatting, new rule, formula, and I'm going to say I want to compare C16. So I'm asking the question is C16. I'll start off with less than, less than B16. I don't need any dollar signs because I want the cells to move freely. With dollar signs, they're held in place. These, I don't want c16 to be held in place because i want it to be allowed to move across the copy to all the other totals when i use the format painter so no dollar signs here and no dollar signs here okay i'm going to format that to say if that's the case and it's less than b16 let's go in a red color so i'm going to do a fill and i'm going to go i'll go for this red Okay, I'm now going to go back to conditional format. This time I'm going to use manage rules because I'm going to apply the second rule using manage rules. So there's the first rule, the red rule, new rule, again formula. And then I'm going to choose is C16 greater than B16. Again, I don't want dollars. And if that's the case, I'm going to format it green. I'll choose this green. Okay. Now the beauty about the manage rules is I can apply it straight away. So I'd be expecting the so I can now apply. I've got two rules. I can apply it. I can see what's going to happen. So I know when I press apply that C16 should go green. Which is what it does. I can now click OK. And click on the format painter now the cell is highlighted format painter one single click because all the cells are next to each other so i'm only doing a one little row of totals so one click on the format painter add it across and very cleverly we can now see what's happening here so just look we'll look at one or two of the colors so march has gone up from february that's where it's green then april went up from march that's where it's green then we went down so you can quickly see then where the months are going up and down and where the trends come in from. So you can then use these colors to manage some kind of business operations to see, do a bit of investigation. And this can be done through color in this case by seeing what's gone up and what's gone down and looking at the reasons behind it. But this completes the training video on conditional formatting formulas. In this example, just using standard formulas where one cell is greater than another cell or the cell is less than another cell and then they're color coded accordingly. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.